I'm going to move into the shot now, me and the Tiki. Welcome, uh, broadcasting live from the, broadcasting live from the Tiki Pond, here for another Haiku Friday, August 14th. We've got a big show for you today. It's a lot of uh, haiku doings, and I, I hope you enjoy. Um, we have our first haiku on this morning's Haiku by the Tiki Pond. is from my wife, Sarah who uh, was inspired, I think, by a visit with our boys over on the West Coast uh, last weekend. Sarah writes, It's all I wanted. Sons, strong, brave, independent. I miss baby lips. That's from Sarah. Thank you, honey. And this is one is from Leah, who's... Uh, friend Steve usually is quite a contributor, and Leah has decided to get into the haiku game herself. So welcome, Leah. And here's Leah's. Your sweet melts my heart. Simply honest, love, good, fun. I dig you a ton. Now, Leah gets points there also for some rhyming, which is, you know, kind of hard to do in a haiku. Thanks, Leah. And Leah says she's dedicated this to Flathead slash Steve. Now, I'm assuming it's Flathead Lake because it's the rat, and that's not her nickname for Steve, is old Flathead. Because I, I think they have a better relationship than that. Hello, Russia. Hello from Russia. I see a little sign there that says, from Russia. I don't have my glasses on, but hello back to you. Um, now, this one, a little background to this is a guy I used to work with, Keith. Good guy. He's a driver now. Every time I worked with him, he never cooked. He would never cook. He would never step up to cook. And uh, But somehow when I was gone that day, he would, uh, they either him or my friend Mike, they would step up to cook. But apparently where he's working now, he has stepped up to cook. In an appreciation, Mike, who's been a contributor before, writes this about Keith. Keith stepped up to cook. Though his gumbo was quite good, Krause is the master. And that's from Mike, and uh, kind of a backhanded compliment in a way, I guess, to you, Keith, so maybe you need to step it up a little bit. All right. Now, this is an unsolicited testimonial, probably the first testimonial we've had here at Haiku Friday, hashtag Fryku headquarters. This comes from Steve, who Leah wrote about earlier. Steve writes this, okay, so this haiku thing is really weird. I just took it as a typical John Griffith screw around thing. Fair enough, Steve, fair enough. Steve continues, but now I wake up in the middle of the night and run to find a pen and paper because I think of haikus in my sleep and I'm afraid I won't remember them if I don't write them down before I go back to sleep. So, I think, I think, Steve, you've got the haiku bug, and there's only one cure for haiku. That's more cowbell. So, anyways, Steve continues, here are three. He wrote three for his kids, literally in the middle of the night, because I was afraid I, I would forget them if I didn't write them down. So, Steve, here's to you. Here's to your kids. Haiku number one. Krista is married. Justin is an army man. Arrow is their child. Number two. Dustin loves Alex. Don't judge Dustin by his pork. Judge him by his girl. That was judge him by his girl. Thank you. Uh, One more. Darby is a stud. He throws hammer and shot. Lena is his gal. So Steve wrote these about his kid. Thank you, Steve. Maybe they will reciprocate next week and write you a haiku or two or three. And this last one is for me. And you might have seen my little post of the uh, spider I found in my mailbox. It's in there with the mail, which I thought, you know, that's kind of a, is it a warning or is it in a slick advertisement from a pesticide company? Maybe I gave away my haiku already, but I'll 
I felt like I needed a little background. So here we go. Spider in the mail. Message from the KGB. Maybe just Orkin. And that's from me. Interesting, we got a hello from Russia during this broadcast. And I have a KGB reference. First time ever in Haiku Friday. It's all coming together, people. Keep sending me your haikus. I'll keep reading them. Uh, either from exotic locations like the Tiki Pond or from other locales around Spokane proper. Thanks for tuning in. Keep sending those haikus. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful haiku.